Welcome back to Copper Star Precision, the channel dedicated to getting you more points at your competitive shooting matches here with footage from day two of nationals. For me, this will be stages one through 10. After day one, sitting at 94th place, so there's a lot of ground to make up. Let's jump right into it. Unfortunately, the video files for the first three stages were corrupt, so we're just going to have to make do with some still images and some voiceover. But stage one of the Nationals was this rooftop stage, pretty classic rooftop stage. We had a bank of targets, KYL rack at 64 yards, and two other targets, one at 78 yards and one at 100 yards, with the stage description being on the engage command ascend the rooftop. Engage targets in the following sequence, so large KYL target, then two, then three, second large KYL target, two, then three, and so on. So engaging the next smallest KYL target, followed by targets two and three. Decided to use holdovers here, and my typical strategy of bag in the front, and also a pump pillow for rear support. I think the success on this stage was changing body positions, because you were panning left to right pretty drastically on the rooftop. So making sure I would square behind the rifle, was able to clean the stage. So we're off to a great start on day two. Stage two was using a familiar prop, 55 gallon barrel, standing up lengthwise and widthwise. 10 shots, and the stage description was as follows. On the engage command, take a position on the first pop can, engage target three, then two, then one. Second prop, targets one, two, and three. And then finally, the third position, three, two, one, three. I'll put the target distances up here. And this one went pretty well. Everything went well until that last position where I was wobbling too much up and down and just not being able to time my shots. Stage three had this giant fly swatter prop. The stage description was as follows. On the engage command, buzz over and build a position inside one of the windows on the mosquito swatter, engaging the target with two rounds. And then from each position there on, engage the target with one round. So nine total positions, so a lot of movement on this stage. And uh, my strategy here, I started on the bottom right window for two shots and then move down in the order, and then the second row from the bottom, using all four of those portholes, and then two portholes on the second from the top row. Um, kind of took my time at the beginning and then tried to speed up at the end, uh, realizing that I didn't have much time left on the clock. But it was just building fast positions here, just using a Schmedium game changer attached to my rifle to make the transitions a little bit easier, and was able to clean this one. Thank you. 
A 10? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, back to some video footage for the next stages. This was stage four, a prone stage on a little hill, engaging 10 different targets at 10 different distances. So dialing for each target, pretty straightforward. By this time of the day, you know, a couple hours in, the wind was doing a little bit of switchy things. We were experiencing mostly a headwind most of the day, uh, which, you know, any change in that direction is going to send the bullet off one way or the other. So I think a lot of people struggle on this stage, even though it seems pretty easy as a prone stage, but it was uh, not as easy as it seemed. Ready? Stand by. Engage. Next up was a cattle gate stage, and this stage was pretty interesting, kind of threw some people for the loop for a loop. The description was as follows. On the engage command, build a position on any of the marked positions on the gate, engage a target with one round from each position. After the eighth round has been fired, switch to support side, engage a target with another round. Lastly, move to another position and then engage a target with one round from support side. When transitioning, you had to change your height on the gate by at least one rung. So I think, you know, the eight positions were like columns. So think of each column as a set of positions of which you had to pick one. And then when you move to the next column of positions, you had to change the height or the rung that you were on by one. I saw a lot of different strategies on this. People were standing, you know, going between two standing positions. I decided to go between two kneeling positions. So the third and second from the bottom rungs is what I decided to use. It was a lot of movement and didn't really anticipate how much time that would burn up on the clock. So I ended up timing out, but was still able to manage eight on this stage. Ready? Engage. <laughs> Time. 
Can I send it? Send it. <sighs> Unload and show clear. Next stage, we have dual tank traps. And there was a lot of different strategies on this stage as well. We had to move between the tank traps and engage different targets. I'll put the stage description up here. But essentially, it was from the first tank trap, engage target four twice, then move, engage target three twice, move again, engage targets two, then one, move, engage targets one, then two, move, and finally, back to the last tank trap, three and four. So a lot of movement, and I think a lot of people got tripped up here. I think a lot of people wanted to use the center of the tank trap, but the way the legs were positioned, you were kind of moving around the tank trap each time, and that kind of ate up valuable time on the clock. Whereas the center might be a more stable position, I opted to go for the two sort of legs that were pointed towards each other to minimize the movement between the two. I think it worked out relatively well. Let's see how it goes. Ready? Ready. And by, engage. Clear. Next up, we have a stage with three spools. The target engagement was as follows. Build a position on any spool, the center of any spool, engage target two with two rounds, and then target four with one round. Then build a prone position under a different spool, engage target one with two rounds, then target four, and then move to the edge of a different spool, engage target three, and then four, and then move to the edge of a different spool, engage targets two, and then four. So Kind of difficult keeping the target order here and uh, making sure that you don't use the same spool when changing positions. My strategy here was to keep it simple and only move between two spools back and forth so I wasn't worried about the third spool or reusing a different position. So let's see how it went. Engage.
Still clear. Next up, we have a stage with some giant tires and a lot of magazine reloads. So you had to reload your magazine on this stage between after every two shots. So the engage command was given and you had to build a position on any tire, engage target one with two rounds, move to a second position, target two with two rounds, third position back to target one for two rounds, fourth position, target two with two rounds, last a prone position underneath one of the tires and engage target three with two rounds. So I didn't want to put my bipod on here because I thought it would interfere with the tires. I possibly should have. So when I got to the last position, I was just using a front bag as support. And I think that cost me at the end of the stage here. Uh, this stage really didn't go well for me. I was probably too focused on, you know, doing the magazine changes and not really paying attention to where my rounds were going and making corrections off of those misses. But uh, yeah, the wind did not help here. And, you know, my game plan seemed to work well. I just wasn't able to execute. Computer ready? Ready. Stand by. Engage. Next up, we have this MPS barricade. There were five positions marked in red tape, as you can see from the picture here. Essentially, on the engage command, hit target one and target two with one round each from five marked positions in the order of your choosing. I decided to bring together a, a large pump pillow and try and use that as uh, sort of fill and support on the top two rungs. And that was a bad idea. I should have just stood for those two rungs, you know, assumed a standing position and, you know, kept my legs far apart for more support. So I think fiddling with the bag definitely cost me on those first two top positions, but it did help in the other positions. So let's see how it went. Stand by, engage.
Last stage of the day, stage 10, we have the quote unquote toothpick stage. So a bunch of uh, trees there had to pick five different positions and engage targets one, then two, and then two, then one. So I think that kind of screwed people up, you know, the target order instead of being near to far every time you're going near, far, far, near, near, far, etc. By this time, the wind was really picking up, so I had to make bold wind calls and bold corrections and it wasn't as stable as I necessarily wanted to be. And I was running out of time at the end. So you see on the last shot, I actually do an emergency holdover and just send it. So holding, I was dialing because you're going near then far and then far than near. So I was dialing for each pair of targets, but on the last shot, I didn't think I have time. So you just see me holding two mils and uh, sending it. And with that, we have wrapped up nationals. So we, I did two videos on stages uh, 11 through 22, and now we have stages one through 10 in the books. Definitely was able to pick up more points in day two, which was great, and ended up 55th overall. So 55 out of 270 shooters obviously dropped a lot of points, you know, over most of the stages. So not terribly happy with that. There was a lot I wish I could take back, but overall pretty happy with my performance, you know, going to nationals for the first time. Um, it was an excellent match, well, well organized, and uh, only way to do better is to compete next year and try and improve. Thanks for sticking around and watching this video. As always, any questions, leave them down in the comments while you're down there. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. Lots more content coming your way, and until I see you next time, as always, score more points.